concept is booth multiplier. This point booth multiplication algorithm which multiplies two signed integers in two's complement. This approach uses fewer additions and subtractions than more straightforward algorithms. Here it is an another method which is used to perform the multiplication operation for two sign integers in two's complement. Second point, the algorithm was invented by Andrew Donald Booth in 1950. That's why they have named for this multiplier as Booth Multiplier. So flowchart. So this flowchart represents how we need to be perform the Booth Multiplication. So here we are having the procedure and some conditions how to operate the booth multiplier. In the first point procedure, let capital M is the multiplicant and number 2, let capital Q is the multiplier. So what is a multiplicant and what is a multiplier? For example, if you go for 2 into 3, so 2 can be called as a multiplicant and 3 is called to be a multiplier and third point consider a 1 bit resistor that 1 bit resistor is represented as Q minus 1 and initialize it to 0 so initially we need to represent that 1 bit resistor as the 0 and fourth point consider a resistor A a capital A is nothing but accumulator and initializing it to 0. So here also accumulator we need to be initialized as the 0. So the bit size of the accumulator will be the bit size of the multiplicant. So whatever the bit size of the multiplicant will be available, the same bit size of the accumulator will be available. And from this part onwards, you will be hang the conditions. So what are there? So first point. If Q0 and Q-1 are same, that is 0, 0, 1, 1. So here Q0 is nothing but least significant bit of multiplier. And Q-1 is nothing but here we have take, uh, we are taking a uh, 1 bit register that is nothing but Q1. If the position of Q0 and Q-1 are same like 0, 0 or 1, 1, then we need to perform the automatic right shift by 1 bit. So we need to perform automatic right shift by 1 bit if both bits are same that is 0, 0 or 1, 1. Second point, if Q0 Q minus 1 is equal to 1 0. So if Q naught and Q minus 1 is equal to 1 0, then we need to be perform the A tends to A minus M. So this operation we need to be performed. So after performing this operation, we need to be perform the automatic right shift. That is the second point. Third point, if Q0, Q-1 is equal to 0, 1. Then perform the A tends to A plus M. So here if I hang in Q0 and Q-1 is equal to 0, 1. Then we need to be perform the A tends to A plus M. So after performing this operation, we need to be apply the automatic right shift automatic right shift and after that you will be come to here so here if the count is equal to 0 then it will be end if the count is not equal to 0 again you will be repeating the same conditions again again so here count is equal to what so count is nothing but here we have given count tends to n n is nothing but number of bits of the 
मल्टीप्लेयर और मल्टीप्लीकेंट सो इफ यू हैंग एन फोर बिट ऑफ मल्टीप्लेयर और मल्टीप्लीकेंट देन एन काउंट इज इक्वल टू फोर फॉर एग्जाम्पल सो आफ्टर परफॉर्मिंग हियर आफ्टर परफॉर्मिंग एन एथमेटिक राइट शिफ्ट सो हियर इनिशियली इफ यू हैंग लेंथ ऑफ दी मल्टीप्लेयर और मल्टीप्लीकेंट इज फोर देन फोर टेन्स टू फोर माइनस वन दैट इज काउंट इक्वल टू थ्री सो हियर वेर इट इज इक्वल टू जीरो नो दैट्स वाई अगेन इट मूव टू हियर so again this all operations will be performed again so previously we having the uh, 3 so 3 tends to 3 minus 1 2 again it is not equal again it will move back and again this all operations will be performed now 2 minus 1 that is equal to count equal to 1 whether it is equal to 0 or no so again it move back and do all the operations as per the condition again we come to here now 1 minus 1 0 now count equal to 0 so if count equal to 0 then moves to end of the operation performed by the booth multiplier so this is the procedure how we need to be operate the booth multiplier so booth multiplication procedure so we have we have taken the multiplier that is uh, that is 5 into minus 4 here 5 can be represented in binary as 0 101 here we need to be represent minus 4 means it is a signed number so signed number can be represented in the twos complement of 4 so that is minus 4 can be represented in twos complement as 1100 So here is a two's complement of the minus four. That is one one zero zero. So we have taken here. So two's complement of the minus four is one one zero zero. Okay now. So here five is called to be a multiplicand, and uh, minus four is called to be a multiplier. So multiplicand represented as a m, and multiplier is represented as a q. So now we are going to perform the steps. So first, so in this column we have taken a accumulator that is A and Q that is nothing but multiplier and Q minus one that is nothing but one bit register. So as the information given here. So now accumulator. So accumulator. So what they have told. So consider register A and initialize it to zero. So now initially. So first first operation what we are performing initializing. So we are taking the A accumulator. So you are giving the zero. So so the size of the accumulator will depends upon the uh, multiplier and multiplier. Here the uh, multiplicand or multiplier uh, size is four uh, bit. That's why we have taken the accumulator as a four bit. Now Q. That is nothing but multiplier one one zero zero. So I have taken one one zero zero. Next Q minus one. So here they have given the information. Consider a one bit register Q minus one and initialize it to zero. Here we need to be consider only one bit. So that's why I have taken zero. This is an initial point. Okay. So here. is a condition okay first so now we need to come here so here we need to be compare the q not and q minus 1 if both are equal then we we need to be apply the automatic right shift if 10 uh, means we need to be apply the a tends to a minus m and 01 means a tends to a plus 1 so here q not is nothing but a least significant bit of q that is a multiplier so here the least significant bit is this q Least significant bit of uh, this uh, Q is Q not. That is, this is a zero, and here Q minus one also is a zero. So both are same. Okay. Now we are going for step number one. So first we have been initialized. In initialized, we need to check the Q not and Q minus one bit. So here uh, both are zero. So both are zero means uh, what is an operation we need to be applied? Both are same means automatic right shift. Okay. Now in step number one, what I am applying the what type of operation I am applying? Right shift, automatic right shift. So now I am moving. So this zero to here, and this zero to here, and one here, and one here, and accumulated bit will enter into the here zero. 
Now this zero here, zero here, zero here. In the, in accumulator, the most significant bit, what will be available, the same bit will be repeated again. So here zero is there, so at last you will be getting zero. Okay. So in step number one, we have been applied at the right shift. Okay. After applying the right shift, we have got like this. Now again, you are going to be check the uh, Q naught and Q minus one. So now again, both are same. So both are same is again, you are going to be applied the right shift. So that is in step number two. So in step number one, we will be checking the Q naught and Q minus one. If both are same, then you need to be applied the next operation that is in step number two. So step number two, so the operation is right shift. Now this zero come to here and this one come to here and this one come to here and this zero 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 come to here and the bit what is available in the most significant bit that will be repeated again so we have been given zero here okay now in this step number two i have performed the right shift okay now we need to be compare the q naught and q minus one now uh, q naught uh, q naught is one and q minus one is zero so now we need to check from the flow chart okay so what they are telling q naught q naught equal to one and q minus one equal to zero so this is so now we need to perform what operation a tends to a minus m okay now we are going to the step number three okay now in step number three i need to be applied then a tends to a minus m so what is the a value here in step number two what is the a value zero 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 so i am keeping here a, uh, a equal to zero 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 minus and uh, what is an m that is nothing but multiplicant so multiplicant value is zero one zero one so i am keeping here zero one zero one but for this multiplicant we are having the, the subtraction operation that is a minus so minus five can be represented so that is minus five that is nothing but it is a sign number so in order to represent the sign number we need to be convert this five again two's complement so minus five can be represented as a minus five can be represented as one zero one one okay okay now here we applied at the minus m that is a minus five that is nothing but one zero one one okay now this entire information will be stored in this accumulator that is a equal to one zero one one okay now i'm going to be substitute that value in accumulator that is in step number three one zero one one okay now i have performed this one so after performing this step you need to be perform the automatic right shift okay so after performing this operation you need to be applied the automatic right shift so now so i am moving this one to here and this one to here so zero zero now in accumulated bit moves to the here so one to one and here one to one zero to zero one to one so as i said before so if msb bit what will be available for the accumulator the same bit will be repeated again so here in msb bit you are having one so here one will be repeated so one okay now step number two i have been provided okay in right shift now after uh, right shift now again we need to move back here count is not equal to again you are uh, we, uh, we need to go back now we need to be check we need to be okay again we need to be uh, check the uh, q naught and q minus one bit here so here both are same here both are same so from the flow chart if both are same that is either zero zero or uh, one one again we need to be apply the so if go here both are one okay so again we need to be apply the right shift okay now this one move to here 
and this zero come to here and this zero come to here and this one come to here and this one come to here and this zero come to here and this one come to here and this one come to here so whatever msd bit is available the same bit will be repeated again and it will be replaced here one okay now so here we need to be perform only four steps why so here it depends upon the the size of the uh, bits of the multiply and multiplicand here the size of the bits are four therefore you will be getting only four steps that here at last after perform the four steps here you will be becoming count equal to zero now you are going to be end so this is the final step you are going to be end the good multiplication so now we have got one 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 zero one one zero zero okay now it is nothing but minus 20 that is the two's complement of 20 here 5 into minus 4 that is equal to minus 20 so at last we have got the minus 20 so if you have applied at the a two's complement for 20 you will be getting this one 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 zero one one zero zero so advantage the advantage of good multiplayer is it reduces the number of partial product here with the help of good multiplication we can reduce the number of partial products disadvantage the main disadvantage of good multiplayer is the complexity of the circuit to generate a partial product bit in the booth encoding so in order to generate the partial product in the circuit design it becomes more complicated application booth used disk calculator that were faster at shifting than adding and created the algorithm to increase their speed so here they will be using the shifting method rather than adding with the help of the algorithm so it will increase the speed in desk calculators number two booth algorithm is also used for high speed multiplication in many digital signal processing so the booth algorithm multiplication is mainly used in a digital signal processing for to perform the high speed multiplications 